Jackson on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns as they have taken the lead. Tucker with the extra point, and that gives him a three point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Ready. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. and 10 here's breeze this is complete to michael thomas and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 a saints first down there on a gain of 11 so in the second quarter he's already up over 100 yards receiving now and isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver so he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out. Didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. From the 39, Breeze flush to his right. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. But one thing's for sure, they're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your timing, change your location. So sometimes you're up on him, sometimes you're back. Just change up the looks that he sees and make him just a little bit more hesitant. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an in... And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Drew Brees does it again. Three first-half touchdown passes for him now as his guys have now moved out in front. This time, the extra point up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Okay, time for a league-wide tangent. Let's look at the divisions. I want you to hand out a bronze, silver, and gold medal for what you think of the top three divisions. Okay, let's start with the AFC South because it's extremely competitive. I'm not sure who the best team is. I suspect Indianapolis, but everyone is within strike. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. Harris to return. Ball. 
call that a 48-yard punt and made even better by a loss on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. But you're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumbled snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. Breeze again here on second and 10. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing now is Breeze. Eluding the pressure right. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And the pressure gets to Breeze as he's taken down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. The final shot before half for Breeze. Forced out to his left. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And finally, he is out of bounds, but not before taking it down near the 15. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. They'll run on first down. Ingram. Ingram's got the first down and more. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Ravens' touchdown. Mark Ingram. His second touchdown of the afternoon as they have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. After the interception, here's Jackson. 
Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep rights. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Mark Ingram. 68 yards as the Ravens push further out in front. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jihad Ward in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Throwing on second and long. Breeze looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Carr. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore.